Okay, welcome back. Today's lesson is direct inverse and joint variations. Okay? Now, direct inverse joint variations. I recommend this. Don't write down what I'm saying first. I just want you to listen. That would be the best thing for you. Just listen to this. Because this is a matter of, of, of being able to read an equation and write an equation, or read, read a statement and write an equation. So listen to what I'm saying. I'm just going to map, I'm going to, I'm going to say the statement in words. So watch. This is y varies, y varies directly as x. This is y varies inversely as x. Notice, did I mention k? Did I mention k in either equation? No, okay? k was not mentioned. I said y varies directly with x, y varies inversely with x. Now, k is called the constant of proportionality. Constant of proportionality. Now again, y varies directly with x, y varies inversely with x. So what does directly mean? Directly means put it where? Directly means put x where? In the numerator, up top, okay, next to k. y varies inversely with x, y varies inversely with x means put x in the denominator. Okay, now next we have y varies, y varies Okay, y varies is what? Y varies is y equals k, y equals k. Y varies is y equals k. Y varies directly with x, directly with x, inversely with z. Okay, so x on top, z on the bottom. So directly means put it on top, inversely means put it on the bottom. Lastly, we have y varies. Y varies jointly with x and z. Now, let me do this again. We can use other variables like a and b. Watch. So a varies, a varies, a varies is a equals what? A equals k. What always follows the equality? Always follows the equality k. We never mention it. Okay, so A varies, A varies directly with B. Okay, A varies directly with B, it means put B up top, put B next to K. Now, A varies inversely. Okay, so again, directly means put it on top, inversely means put it in the bottom. So A varies, A varies, A varies is A equals K. A varies inversely as B. Inversely means put B where? In the denominator. Okay, now we're going to look at A varies directly with B and inversely with C. A varies. A varies is A equals K. A varies directly with B, put B on top, and put C in the denominator. So A varies directly with B and inversely with C. Okay? Now lastly we have A varies is A equals K. A varies jointly with B and C. Jointly. Put it all in one big long line. Okay? Now I want you to practice a few. Okay? So first I want you to try this. Okay? Take, take a moment. I'm going to say it. Pause the video. Try to write it on your paper and then come back and see if you had it right. Okay? So first I want you to write y varies directly with a. Okay, y varies directly with a. Okay, so write the equation. y varies directly with a. Remember, directly means put it where? On top. Don't forget your k. All right, y varies. y varies is y equals k. y varies directly with what? a. Directly means put it in the numerator. Okay, now I want you to try this. y varies inversely as a. y varies inversely as a. Y varies inversely as A. Remember, inversely means put it in the denominator. Don't forget your K. Y varies inversely with A. Okay. Now I want you to write Y varies directly with B and inversely with A. Y varies directly with B, inversely with A. Y varies directly with B. Did you get it? Okay. Y varies directly with B. It means put B up top, inversely with A. Okay. Now, lastly, Y varies jointly with B and C. Y varies jointly with B and C. Y varies jointly with B and C is Y equals K, B, C. Now, let's try this. I want you to write A varies directly as the square of B. A varies directly as the square of B. A varies directly means put it next to K. A varies directly as the square of B. Square of, square of, guys, square of b is b squared. What is the square of x? The square of x is x squared, okay? Now, write this one. a varies inversely as the square root of b. Remember, inversely means put it on the bottom, okay? Now, listen to the difference. a varies inversely as the square root of b. a varies inversely, don't forget, a equals k, always k. A varies inversely as what? The square root of B. Okay? A varies inversely as the square root of B. So there's a difference between square of, the square of X is X squared. The, 
uh, let's see, the uh, square root root of x is written like this, square root of x. Okay, so square of x is x squared. Square root of x is the square root of x. This symbol looks like a fancy division symbol. We're going to be learning about this this semester. Okay, now I want you guys to write a varies directly with the square of b and inversely with the square root of c. a varies directly with the square of b and inversely with the square root of c. a varies, a varies, a varies is a equals k. a varies directly with the square of b and inversely with the square root of c. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see the difference <clears throat> between square of and square root. Lastly, I want you to write a varies jointly with the square of b and c. a varies jointly Remember one big long line, A varies jointly with the square of B and C. Okay, so square of B means B squared. Okay, so hopefully you're getting a feel for writing these equations. If you didn't understand that, try pausing the video, rewinding, and going through that again. Okay, again, directly means put it on top, inversely means put it in the denominator. Okay, now, these problems actually, I tell students this, I say it's very hard, it's difficult, it's hard. Uh, but actually, it's really, really easy. Okay, so this is, I'm just going to be straightforward with you on this video. This lesson is actually pretty easy. Have we done harder stuff than this? Oh, yeah. We've done a lot harder stuff than this. So this is actually a really simple lesson. It comes down to two things you have to write. You have to write what? Starting with, you have to write an equation and a list. An equation and a list. And if you can write an equation, write a list, the problem becomes very easy. Okay, now I'm going to show you other methods as well. Uh, but for now, to get started, I just want you to write equation and list. Okay, so we're going to read the first problem. Okay, the first problem, open your books. If you don't have them open already, open your book to page 587. Page 587. At the top, example one. Okay, so you can follow along as I'm reading this. Page 587, example one. Okay, so looking at the top, you need to pause the video. Looking at the top of page 587, in the green box, example one says, if if y varies directly as x, if y varies directly as x, so what does it just say? It just gives you an equation. If y varies directly as x, so what do we write? y varies directly. What does this mean? Put x where? Put x in the top. y varies directly as x. So do we have an equation? Yes. Okay, now out of a 10-point problem, guys, you get three points for equation. You get three points for list. Okay, so you get six out of 10 points for equation and list. Okay, you get four points for solving the problem. Students say, well, I got the right answer. Yeah, but, okay, you need an equation, you need a list. We're going to see that, that this information is going to be the key to solving problems, guys. So six points for equation and list, all right? And uh, so for now, okay, uh, you will find that soon your list is going to be what you need to actually write the equation. So it's very important that you practice writing equation and list. So you get six points for writing the equation and list, four points for solving, okay? So even if you don't have the answer on paper, you can still receive... 6 out of 10 points, okay? So it says, if y varies directly as x, it says, and y equals 15. Now I'm writing the list. Listen, if y equals 15 when x equals 7, uh, find y, so y is blank, when x, I'm sorry, I read it wrong. If y varies directly as x, and y is 15 when x is negative 5, Find y, so y is blank when x is 7. Okay. Now, tell students this. Okay, start with the part of the list that does not have a missing value. So to solve this problem, we're going to start with the part of the list that does not have a missing value, the top part in this case. We're going to throw these values into the equation to find k. All right. Now, so we're going to put 15 in for y. We get 15 equals k, and we're going to put negative 5 in for x. k times negative 5. Now, my question is, are we interested in the negative 5 or the 15? Which one are we interested in? Okay. We are interested in the negative 5. Why? Okay. We're trying to get k by itself. Sometimes these simple equations are almost, are almost tricky. Okay. But they're actually very, very easy, guys. So notice, if, if 5 is being added, we subtract. If 5 is being subtracted, we add. If it's being divided, we multiply. And if it's being multiplied, we divide. Now, my question is, is 5 being subtracted or multiplied? Okay, notice, this is k multiplied by x. So negative 5 is being multiplied, so we're going to divide. 5 is not being subtracted. 5 is being multiplied, or sorry, negative 5 is not being subtracted. It's being multiplied. So we're going to divide by negative 5. Do the opposite. It's multiply, divide. Divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5. What do we get? k equals what? k equals negative 3. Now, once we have k, 
we're going to use k and x to find y. So we're going to throw this back in, put in negative 3 and 7 into the equation. Notice we don't know y, so we write y equals, what is k? What is k? k is negative 3 times what? Times 7 for x. Negative 3 times 7 is, gives us y equals negative 21. So you have your answer. So what goes here? What goes here? y equals negative 21. I'm going to circle it. Okay, now, next problem. I want you to flip over, flip over, well, I guess stay, no, you can stay on page 587. Stay, the bottom of page 587 says joint variation. Okay, example two on the bottom. Suppose y varies jointly as x and z. Okay, so we need what? We need two things. We need an equation, we need what? A list. Okay, equation and list. And our equation is worth three points, our list is worth three points. Okay, and how many points do we get for solving? We get four points for solving. Okay, so we got three points, three points, and we got four points for solving down here. Okay, so remember, you can earn a lot of free points here, guys. Six out of ten points just for equation lists. So the problem says, suppose y varies jointly as x and z. Suppose y varies jointly as x and z. So y equals k, x, z. Remember, k always follows the equality. And jointly means draw it, write everything in one line. It's kind of like the oddball. Draw it, write everything in one just long line. Okay, so y varies jointly with x and z, and we have find y, find y, when x equals 9, and z equals 2. Okay, now, read the information. It says if y is 20, if y is 20, when z is 3, notice they give it out of order. They give it out of order. Okay, so just line them up, okay, when z is 3 and x is 5. So notice I've written the lists, okay. I always think of this as two parts to the list. Okay, so to solve the equation, we start with what part of the list? We start with the part of the list that does not have a missing value. So we're going to start with the bottom part in this case. Notice the top part has a missing value. So we're going to throw these three values in to find what? K. Now, so we're going to put in 20 for y, okay. 20 for y equals, what goes in for, well, we don't know k, so nothing in for k. k times, what goes in for x? What goes in for x? 5 goes in for x, and then what? 3 goes in for z times 3. Now, we're going to multiply. 5 times 3 gives 15, so we get 20 equals k times 15. And again, what are we interested in here? Are we interested in the 20 or the 15? Hopefully you say, well, we have to get k by itself, so we have to get rid of the 15. Notice, since 15 is being multiplied, we are going to do what? the opposite. We're going to divide by 15, divide by 15, and let's reduce. Okay, what divides 20 and 15? So k equals 20 and 15 are divisible by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Now, students, leave this as 4 thirds. You know, they say, well, I thought you said to turn everything into a mixed number. Okay, final answers get turned into mixed numbers, but not k. Okay, k is not what we're looking for. We're actually trying to find y. Now, if y comes out to be an improper fraction, go ahead and convert it to a mixed number. But k, leave it as 4 thirds because 4 thirds is more useful in actually solving the problem. So leave it alone as 4 thirds. Now we're going to use k, x, and z to find y. So let's try this. So we don't know y, so we're going to write y equals what goes in for k? What goes in for k? 4 thirds, 4 thirds, put parentheses around your fractions, 4 thirds times what? What goes in for x? 9, okay, times what? 2 goes in for z. Now, can we multiply 9 times 2? Yes, this gives 18. So we get y equals 4 thirds times what? 18. Now, you guys have seen, I'm just going to take the parentheses away from that 18 for a moment. You guys have seen fraction times number this semester. And reminding you, is it easier to multiply first or divide first? Okay, it's always easier to divide first if possible. What is 18 divided by 3? Okay, 18 divided by 3 is what? 6. And 6 times 4 is 24, so we get y equals 24, okay? So our answer is y equals 24, I'm circling it, okay? Now, uh, let me see here, next problem, I'm going to erase over here, I want to leave this up for a reason, okay? You guys can erase, rewind the video and see that again if you need to. Hopefully you start to get a feel for what's actually happening here. These problems, have we done harder stuff than this? Absolutely, guys. This is actually pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Remember over here, this equation was what? Direct. 
Okay, directly proportional to. Directly proportional to. Okay, I'll just write directly. Directly. Okay, so this was direct. I'll say this. Direct means they're doing the same thing. They're both going up or they're both going down. Okay, both going up or both going down. Inverse means they're doing opposite things. Inverse means they're doing opposite things. So as one goes up, the other goes down. This is not the same as positive and negative correlation, but it is related. It's similar, but it's not the same thing. Okay, so positive correlation, I said both values are going up. Negative correlation, they're doing opposite. But guys, okay, let's think of this as similar but different. Okay, so directly means they're doing the same thing. Both are going up or both are going down. Inverse is going to mean they're doing opposite things. As one goes up, the other goes down. Okay, now, and let's not look here yet. Okay, I'll explain this in a minute. Okay, so let's flip over to page 588. Page 588, example 3 on the bottom says, if A varies inversely as B, inverse, inverse, A varies inversely as B. What does inverse mean? Inverse means put B on the bottom. So we need what? We need an equation. And the equation says A varies, A varies, A equals K, A varies inversely as B. Put B on the bottom. Okay, so A varies inversely as B. And we need a list. Okay, reminding you get three points for your equation. Three points for your list. Okay, you get four points for solving. Now your list is what? List is A is 28 when B equals negative 2. Find A when B equals negative 10. Find A when B equals negative 10. Now, what part of the list are we going to start with? Hopefully you say the part that has no missing values. We're going to start with the top part because there's no missing value. The bottom part has a missing value. So throw these values in to find k. So put 28 in for a equals, and we have k over what? k over b is negative 2. Okay? Now, uh, if k is being, notice, if k was being multiplied, we divided. Or so if k was being multiplied by 5, we divided. So notice here, k is being divided by negative 2. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to multiply by negative 2. Multiply by negative 2. Multiply by negative 2. Okay, so since k was being divided by negative 2, we multiply by negative 2. These cancel. We end up with k equals 28 times negative 2 is negative 56. Okay, now once we have k, we're going to use k and b to find a. So throw these back in. So we end up with A equals, A equals, K is negative 56, negative 56 over B, which is negative 10. And what happens when we have two negatives? The two negatives cancel and become what? Positive. Okay, so we have 56 over 10. And can we reduce this? Okay, are they both even? Yes, divide them each by 2. 56 divided by 2 is 28. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, stand over here. And now, is A a final answer? Yes. So 28 over 5 is not acceptable. We need to convert this to what? Convert this to a mixed number. How many times does 5 go into 28? Well, hopefully you say 5 goes into 28 five times, because 5 times 5 gives 25. And how many are left over? 3. So we have 3 fifths. 5 and 3 fifths. Okay? Now, so our answer is 5 and 3 fifths. Now, Okay, so what did I say? Directly means they're doing what? Directly means they're doing the same thing. Either both going up or both going down. And inverse means they're doing opposite things. Okay, for now, let's ignore the signs. Ignore the signs. Notice here, notice here we have, let me erase this. Notice here we have a negative 5 and a negative 21. I'm going to ignore this for now. So let's erase the negative. Okay, we're going to erase the negatives. And notice, we're just going to deal with 5, 7, 15, and 21. So my question is, going from 5 to 7, are we going up or down? Okay. Hopefully say x is going what? x is going up. Okay. x is going up. Notice, if x went up, what happened to y? What happened to y? y also went up. We say that it went up by the same factor. Okay, so let's see. 5 times what is 7? Well, if we take 5 and multiply by 7 over 5, we get 7. Okay. Now, if we do the same thing to the other side, if we take 15 and multiply by 7 over 5, okay, multiply, multiply. Okay, so multiply by 7 over 5, multiply by 7 over 5, we get 15 times 7 over 5 is 21. So directly basically means both sides are being multiplied by the same thing. So notice, from 5 to 7, x went up. Notice, y also went up. So they're doing the same thing. We can also think of this as, notice, go backwards. Can we think of x went down? Okay, if x went down, what happened to y? Y also went down. Okay, so they're either both going up or both going down. Now look over at inverse for a minute. 
and I want you to ignore the signs. So we're going to take away these negatives, okay? And I want you to tell me, okay, what happened to B? Did B go up or did B go down, okay? B went up, okay? So if B goes up, what's going to happen to A? Remember, inversely means they're doing opposite, guys. So if B went up, what happened to A? A went what? Down. Okay, so B went up, A went down. Now, notice over here, to get from 2 to 10, what do we have to multiply by? We have to multiply by 5, okay? Now, I say this, if you multiply by 5 over here, you're going to divide by 5 over here. So multiply by 5, over here we are dividing by 5. And to divide by 5 is the same as to multiply by the reciprocal 1 -fifth. Okay, so with inverse, if we multiply by 5 on one side, we multiply by the reciprocal 1 -fifth on the other. 2 times 5 is 10. Here, 28 times 1 -fifth is 5 and 3 fifths. Okay, so one side gets larger, one side gets smaller. Okay, so inverse means they're doing what? Opposite things. This is going to be very important, guys, because soon you will be given a list and you're going to have to figure out what your equation is. Okay, so it's not always the case that you're given an equation.